<laughs> well, we've had a number of classified briefings related to the Chinese spy balloon and other balloons. And each time, the administration tends to want to pat itself on the back for the job that they've done. The President had said what has happened with the Chinese spy balloon, he said, was not a major security breach. He said, not a major security breach. Well, I was, a, I was a surgeon for 25 years. And when people ask me, what's the difference between major and minor surgery, major is anything they do for me or, or me or my family. This was a major security breach of the United States and a violation of our airspace. It was deliberate, it was intentional, it was consequential. This Chinese spy balloon hovered over locations, including my home state of Wyoming. We have there the ICBM, the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Base, as they do have in Montana as well. These missiles, the MX missiles, were ones that helped secure the peace for 60 years to prevent nuclear war. President John Kennedy, 60 years ago, called these our ace in the hole. Well, it seems like Joe Biden doesn't care if he turns over and shows the Chinese our whole card. He said he did the right thing. I say he did the weak thing. He only shot down the Chinese spy balloon after public pressure demanded it. This is a complete violation of our integrity as a nation, and the President's indifference and inaction showed weakness not just to China, but to the world. This President has been wrong on China from the beginning. Even when he declared for President, he said China is our friend. He said that China isn't our competition. And I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that he said that after Chinese donors put $61 million into a university setting to set up a Biden Center. China is going to continue to test us, test our national security, our energy security, our supply chain. And Joe Biden is playing right into their hands. He's playing right into their hands with his green agenda, which is making us more dependent on China for minerals and materials, for solar panels and electric, va uh, electric vehicle batteries. Republicans have a number of bills to deal with this, banning TikTok, making us more energy secure relative to China. But Chuck Schumer's not taking any of them up. Some of you have written on the fact that we are heading in the Senate at a glacial pace. So why aren't we going to these, these issues? Well, because Joe Biden is unwilling to project strength against China. The American people know that China cannot be trusted. China is not our friend. China is out to get us. We need a president who is willing to stand up and demand accountability from China for their spying and their stealing.